dry heating test. Experiment 2 Objective To study the action of heat on following substances. 1. Copper carbonate 2. Zinc carbonate 3. Washing soda 4. Copper sulfate crystals 5. Zinc nitrate 6. Copper nitrate 7. Lead nitrate 8. Ammonium chloride 9. Iodine 10. Ammonium dichromate Make observations, identify the products and make inferences where possible. Materials required Test tubes Test tube holder Bunsen burner Lime water Given unknown substance Filter paper FeSO4 solution Starch paper Litmus papers Cobalt chloride paper Acidified K2Cr2O7 solution and starch paper Procedure and observations For copper carbonate CuCO3 Copper carbonate is blue-green in color. Take small amount of given salt in a test tube and heat it strongly in a Bunsen burner. Observe the color of the residue. Also, test the nature of gas evolved. The residue is black in color and a colorless, odorless gas is evolved which turns lime water milky. The gas evolved is CO2. The residue is copper oxide. CuCO3 solid blue-green on heating gives CuO solid black plus CO2 gas. This confirms that the given substance is copper carbonate CuCO3. 2. For zinc carbonate ZnCO3. Zinc carbonate is a white amorphous solid. Take small amount of the given salt in a test tube and heat it strongly in a Bunsen burner. Observe the color of the residue. Also, test the nature of gas evolved. The residue is yellow when hot but white when cold and a colorless Odorless gas is evolved which turns lime water milky. The gas evolved is CO2. The residue is zinc oxide. ZnCO3 solid, white, on heating gives ZnO solid, yellow, hot, white, cold, plus CO2 gas. This confirms that the given substance is zinc carbonate. ZnCO3 3. For washing soda Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O Washing soda is a white crystalline solid. Take small amount of the given salt in a test tube and heat it strongly in Bunsen burner. Observe the color of the residue. Also, test the nature of gas evolved. The residue is white in color and the salt gives off vapors which condense on cooler parts of the test tube to form tiny colorless droplets. To confirm water of crystallization, bring a blue cobalt chloride paper close to the mouth of test tube. The paper turns pink. Water of crystallization confirmed. The residue is sodium carbonate, Na2CO3. Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O solid white on heating gives Na2CO3 solid white plus 10 H2O gas. This confirms that the given substance is washing soda Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O. 4. For copper sulfate crystals CuSO4 dot 5 H2O. Copper sulfate is a blue crystalline solid. Take small amount of the given salt in a test tube and heat it 
in Bunsen burner. Observe the color of the residue. Also, test the nature of gas evolved. The residue is white in color and the salt gives off vapors which condense on cooler parts of the test tube to form tiny colorless droplets. To confirm water of crystallization, bring a blue cobalt chloride paper close to the mouth of test tube. The paper turns pink. Water of crystallization confirmed. The residue may be copper sulfate, CuSO4. CuSO4.5H2O, blue, on heating gives CuSO4, solid, white, plus 5H2O, gas. Observe the color of the residue and test the nature of gas evolved on strongly heating the given salt. The residue is black in color and a colorless gas with suffocating smell is evolved which turns acidified K2Cr2O7 solution green. The residue is copper oxide. The gas evolved is sulfur dioxide. CuSO4 solid white on heating gives CuO solid black plus O2 gas plus SO2 gas. This confirms that the given substance is hydrated copper sulfate CuSO4 dot 5H2O. 5. For zinc nitrate ZnNO3 whole twice dot 6H2O. Zinc nitrate is a white crystalline solid. Take small amount of the given salt in a test tube and heat it in Bunsen burner. Test the nature of gas evolved. It gives off vapors which condense on the cooler parts of the test tube to form tiny colorless droplets. To confirm water of crystallization, bring a blue cobalt chloride paper close to the mouth of test tube. The paper turns pink. Water of crystallization confirmed. ZnNO3 whole twice dot 6H2O solid white on heating gives ZnNO3 whole twice solid plus 6H2O gas. Observe the color of the residue and test the nature of gas evolved on strongly heating the given salt. The residue is yellow when hot but white when cold and reddish brown fumes are given out which turns a filter paper soaked in FeSO4 black. The residue is zinc oxide. The gas evolved is nitrogen dioxide. 2 ZnNO3 whole twice solid on heating gives 2 ZnO solid yellow when hot, white when cold, plus 4 NO2 gas, reddish brown fumes, plus O2 gas. This confirms that the given substance is hydrated zinc nitrate, ZnNO3 whole twice dot 6H2O. 6. For copper nitrate, CuNO3 whole twice dot 6H2O. Copper nitrate is a bluish-green crystalline solid. Take small amount of the given salt in a test tube and heat it in Bunsen burner. Test the nature of gas evolved. It gives off vapors which condense on the cooler parts of the test tube to form tiny colorless droplets. To confirm water of crystallization, bring a blue cobalt chloride paper close to the mouth of test tube. The paper turns pink. Water of crystallization confirmed. CuNO3 whole twice dot 6H2O solid blue on heating gives CuNO3 whole twice solid plus 6H2O gas. Observe the color of the residue and test the nature of gas evolved on strongly heating the given salt. The residue is black in color and reddish-brown fumes are given out 
which turns a filter paper soaked in FeSO4 black. The residue is copper oxide. The gas evolved is nitrogen dioxide. 2 CuNO3 hole twice on heating gives 2 CuO solid black plus 4 NO2 gas reddish brown plus O2 gas. This confirms that the given substance is hydrated copper nitrate CuNO3 hole twice dot 6 H2O. 7. For lead nitrate PbNO3 hole twice. Lead nitrate is a white crystalline solid. Take small amount of the given salt in a test tube and heat it strongly in Bunsen burner. Observe the color of the residue. Also, test the nature of gas evolved. The residue is brown when hot and yellow when cold. And a reddish brown gas is evolved which turns a filter paper soaked in FeSO4 black. The residue is lead oxide. The gas evolved is nitrogen dioxide. 2 PbNO3 hole twice, solid, white, on heating gives 2 PbO, solid, brown when hot, yellow when cold plus 4 NO2 gas reddish brown plus O2 gas. This confirms that the given substance is lead nitrate PbNO3 hole twice. 8. For ammonium chloride NH4Cl Ammonium chloride is a white crystalline solid. Take small amount of the given salt in a test tube and heat it strongly in Bunsen burner. Observe the residue. Also, test the nature of gas evolved. White fumes are formed which deposit on the cooler parts of the test tube. No residue is left behind. Ammonia and hydrogen chloride gas are evolved. NH4Cl, solid, white, on heating gives NH3 gas, plus HCl gas. This confirms that the given substance is ammonium chloride NH4Cl. 9. For iodine, I2. Iodine is a lustrous metallic grey crystalline solid. Take small amount of iodine in a test tube and heat it strongly in Bunsen burner. Observe the residue. Also, test the nature of gas evolved. Dark violet vapors are evolved which turns starch paper blue. No residue is left behind. The vapors evolved are of iodine. I2, solid, metallic gray. This is a reversible reaction. On heating, gives I2, gas, dark violet. On cooling, gives I2, solid metallic gray. This confirms that the given substance is iodine I2. 10. For ammonium dichromate NH4 whole twice Cr2O7. Ammonium dichromate is an orange red crystalline solid. Take small amount of given salt in a test tube and heat it in a Bunsen burner. Observe the color of the residue. Also, test the nature of gas evolved. The residue is green in color and the salt gives off steamy vapors which condense on cooler parts of the test tube and turns blue cobalt chloride paper pink. A colorless and odorless gas is also evolved which is neither combustible nor a supporter of combustion. The residue is chromium 3 oxide. Water droplets and nitrogen gases evolved. NH4 whole twice Cr2O7 solid orange on heating gives Cr2O3 solid green in color plus N2 gas plus 4H2O gas. 
This confirms that the given substance is ammonium dichromate NH4 Holtweiss Cr2O7. Result The action of heat on given unknown substances have been studied and the products formed are also identified. Precautions 1. Use a perfectly dry test tube for performing this test. 2. Keep the mouth of the test tube away from yourself as well as your neighboring students. 3. During heating, do not heat the tube at one point but keep it rotating otherwise the tube may crack. 4. Do not smell the gases evolved by placing the gas directly over the mouth of the tube. Always smell the gas by puff of your hands. 5. Freshly prepared FeSO4 solution and lime water must be used.